In this video I'm going to show you how to remove dust spots from video in Final Cut Pro. Seeing black spots in videos and photos is very common with mirrorless cameras. They're usually caused by specks of dust on the sensor or sometimes on the rear elements of the lens. They're very easy to clone out in photos but with video it's a little more complicated. This is some video shot on my GH5. It looked perfectly fine on the camera's LCD while I was shooting, but when I loaded it into Final Cut Pro for editing, I noticed three black spots on all of the footage. You can see them better if I zoom in. Two of them are very obvious, the one on the left is barely noticeable, and you probably wouldn't even see it if it wasn't on the sky. To remove them in Final Cut Pro, I'll be using a Gaussian Blur with a Shape Mask. Open the Effects Browser, click on Blur on the left, and then drag the Gaussian Blur effect onto the clip. Then click on the Mask icon next to the effect and choose Add Shape Mask in the menu. Now I'll just resize the mask to make it a little smaller and resize the outer circle too. The mask will be placed over the black spot here, but I need to resize it a little more so that it's only covering the spot. So I'll just zoom into 200% to get a better view, and then pan up to get the dot back on the screen. The mask is still way too big, so I'll just move it to the side so that I can see the mask and the dot at the same time, and then continue shrinking it. We want the inner circle to just cover the black spot and a little of the surrounding area, and the outer circle just a little larger, for a nice smooth fall off with no hard edges. That looks about right, so now I'll move it over the top of the black spot, and that looks perfect. The spot has completely disappeared. Now we'll zoom out again and deal with the black spot over the water. Again, I'll take the Gaussian Blur effect and drag it onto the clip. Then click the Mask icon next to the effect and choose Add Shape Mask. Shrink the mask down a little and then move it over next to the spot. And I'll zoom in again to 200% for a better view. Shrink the inner circle down until it's just a little larger than the spot. And shrink the outer circle down too until it's just a little wider. Then drag the mask over the top of the spot. Now the dark spot is gone, but the blurred area is a bit too visible over the background. Unlike the dot in the sky where the dot was on a flat colour, here there's a lot more detail in the background. So I'm just going to adjust the amount slider here all the way down to zero, and then increase it gradually just until the spot disappears. And here around 16 seems perfect. You can no longer see the black spot, but you also can't see the blurry circle. Now we'll zoom out again and deal with the final black spot over on the left. So again we drag the Gaussian Blur effect onto the clip, click on the mask icon and select Add Shape Mask, resize it to make it a little smaller, drag it over here next to the spot and zoom in to 200%. Resize the mask until it's just a little larger than the spot, and then drag it into place. And that's it, the spots are gone. Here's the clip before at 200% with the spots clearly visible, and here's after with the spots removed. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. That's it for now, thanks for watching.